I'm Nate Keck with Cork Power Meters. We're here today to talk about the differences between heart rate monitors and power meters. And judging by the fact that you're watching this video, you probably have an interest to understand that. Two main tools that we use are heart rate monitors and power meters, uh, and we're gonna go through what those differences are. Heart rate monitors are a pretty simple and relatively low cost device. They convey the electrical impulses of your heart through a chest strap. The downfall to heart rate monitors is that there's a lot of outside variables that can affect them. This includes the amount of fatigue that you have, the temperature that it is, how much stress you have, caffeine ingestion, or even how hydrated you are. Cork power meters measure the amount of torque you're able to generate through pedaling multiplied by your cadence. So just like a vehicle uses horsepower to measure the amount of workload that it's doing, we use a power meter in cycling to measure how much power output you're doing. We can accurately measure how many watts you're putting out. The beautiful thing with wattage is 100 watts is 100 watts. It doesn't matter how fatigued you are, how much caffeine you've had to take in, what the temperatures are outside, or the amount of stress that you have going on. Likewise, cork power meters are much better at tracking the subtle changes of your effort. For example, you may be holding a steady pace of 250 watts at a heart rate of 160 beats per minute, but you sprint at 1,000 watts. Meanwhile, your heart rate may only increase 15 or 20 beats per minute. Power meters are also extremely effective in comparing yourself to the pros and your riding buddies. You may be able to sprint somewhere around 800 watts. Meanwhile, some of the best sprinters in the world are gonna be upwards of 1400 watts. With a power meter, you can make those direct comparisons. Also, Ironman triathletes will compete and complete the bike course at an average wattage of 300 watts or so, while a recreational triathlete may be closer to 175 watts. Power meters allow you to understand these subtle differences and changes and track your progress better than any other measurement tool on the market. To learn more about cork power meters, you can go to our website by clicking here, or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking here. Thank <laughs> you.